Hi guys, Tim from Halo ITSM and today we'll be running through departments, teams and roles. Let's take a look. First things first, when you get into the system, go to configuration, up to teams and agents. So in here, the person will be logging into the system, will log in tickets, working on tickets. This, these will be where these are arranged. And then from here, you're able to then put these under teams as well. So you can think of these as groups. These could be departments. These could be subsections within those departments. So you could have a first line, a second line, a third line knock, for instance, under a single support. You can also have an IT, a sales team, a HR team. And this is where you would configure these. Jumping into a team, you have configurable to inside these as well. So you have the ability to choose whether or not they're available for certain types of tickets, if they have a certain mailbox going to them, what people they have within those, what roles within the team they have as well. So if you go to edit, then to edit here, you can choose if they're the team leader. Stuff like this would be applicable for approval processes and, and uh, areas such as that. Scrolling down, you can also choose if there's certain can techs that are available to these different teams. So for instance, a support team would want to say different things in their context compared to a sales team or HR team. So you can reflect that in here. Going down further, you can also choose what sort of categories are available per team. So when you're, when you're categorizing an incoming opportunity for a sales team, for instance, you don't want to have the same things as a support team where you're talking about the certain sorts of issues that they are reporting. So you can show this in here. Jumping back and going to the home page. Jumping back and going to the home page, if you go to organization and then to configure my organization and then to organizational charts, in here you can see a total visual overview of your entire organization within the system, how people fall between different teams, who looks after what. You can also go to the departments tab as well and you can see what departments you have within your teams. So for instance, you could have a number of teams under a single department and they would be able to then be reflected in the organization and have the correct permissions for the specific role they have. Going back to the homepage, that's all I wanted to share with you today. Please feel free to check out any other guys we have on Halo ITSM. If you want to visit us, please go to haloitsm.com.